Hi, this is Scott Marshall with eCabinets Tips and Tricks. The other day I had a question about placing cabinets in custom layout. They were having a problem with getting the cabinets to go where they needed them to go. Uh, they were evidently just going where they wanted to. So the first thing I would do would be go into settings and preferences and, and check out my defined standard dimensions. And, in, and under standard dimensions you've got some settings in here that you can set. Uh, like for example refrigerator to cabinet clearance I've got set at one inch and what that's going to do is it's going to hold every cabinet that touches that refrigerator one inch from it so if you're having an issue with that come in here and check that out um, then you got a, appliance to cabinet clearance and that's the same thing it just refers to like ranges stoves and uh, dishwashers and stuff like that then you've got uh, upper cabinet mounting height and this is the height from the top of the upper cabinet to the floor so in this example right here I'm using 30 inch upper cabinets and I've got 96 inch ceilings so, and I want my the bottom of my upper cabinet to be 53 inches off the floor so I've got it set to be 83 inches and to change that you just click on it and you type in your new measurement and you click update and it'll change it and we got cabinet to wall clearance right here this is the distance from the back of the cabinet to the wall if you got that set at one inch, it's going to hold it one inch off the wall. So if you got an issue with that, come in here and check that. And then we also got cabinet to cabinet clearance. This is the gap that it will, it will leave between cabinets. So make sure you got that set to zero if you want them to snap to one another. In other words, you don't want a gap between them. And then we got base cabinet mounting height. And this is from the floor to the bottom of the base cabinet. So if you're having a problem with your cabinets not sitting flush on the floor, Make sure this is set to zero. And that's about it for that. You can always click on this question mark right here and it'll bring up the help menu and it goes over all this that I just talked about and more. So check that out if you're not familiar with all this. Now, the next thing is place assembly mode. And if you go under cabinet, place cabinet assembly options, you got place mode right here. And you got Freestyle, align the back, align the front, and align the center. I'm going to select freestyle and show you what happens if it is selected. I'm going to come in here and grab me a base cabinet. And I'm going to come in here and put it, try to put it in the room. Now you can see it will not snap to the wall. And it won't rotate accordingly to the wall. And as a matter of fact, you can put it right in the wall if you wanted to. Um, you can put it anywhere in the room if you want to. And you can actually put cabinets on top of cabinets. So that's what freestyle does. And you'll run into situations where you need to use freestyle. But if you're wanting them to snap to other cabinets or to the wall, you need to have something different selected. And usually what I like to select is align the back. And so let me put a couple of base cabinets in here. I'm going to put one right here on this wall. And you can see that it won't, if I come over here, it will snap to this corner because I've got an adjacent wall to snap to. But it won't snap to this wall, to the end of this wall. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get it close. And I'm going to hit escape here. I'm going to click on this wall and go into elevation view. I'm going to click on this cabinet. And if I come over here to the left, it brings up this dialog. And I can pin it by clicking my thumb tack there. And I'm going to type zero in the left there. And that's going to put it close to the edge of that wall. If I want it all the way to this way, I just go to the right and type zero. But I'm going to... I'll go back into my overhead view there and I'm going to put a few more base cabinets in here. I'm going to put one right here. Now see how that turn right there it's that way. When I get it on this wall it'll turn. Here and watch this one now. It's going to snap to that 45 degree angle right there. If I keep going over it's going to try to snap to the back of that cabinet and I don't want that. I want it on this angle. So there's that and notice how it stays on a 45 degree angle. If I want it to go this way then or this way I can get it on that wall and then I can come out here and just put it in the middle of my room if I want to. I'm going to stagger these here because I'm going to show you something. The first thing I want to do is deal with these two cabinets. I want the front of these cabinets to line up in the corners here. So I need to know the distance. I need to pull each cabinet. I just hit my delete key right there and deleted that cabinet. Let me put it back. And put you right there. <clears throat> now to get back to these, what I need to know is the distance I need to pull each cabinet on 
their respective wall here. So I need to know how much this one needs to go this way, and I need to know how much that one needs to be from there in order for these two to line up. And to do that, I'm going to use my octagon calculator. Now, if you haven't viewed my video on how to make this thing, be sure you check it out because it comes in handy for more than just octagons. Now, we're dealing with 24 inch base cabinets. We got two of them that are exactly 24 inches deep each one and we're also dealing with a 45 degree angle so I can use this calculator to calculate the distance I need to pull off of each wall in this case I just typed in 24 right there and I need to this line length right here is telling me it needs to go over 9 and 15 16 so I'm going to copy that and I'm going to go back into e-cabinets and I'm going to click on this wall and under elevation I'm going to do basically the same thing that I've done on wall 1 there. I'm going to click on my cabinet and I'm going to go from 0 to 9 and 15 sixteenths. And go back into overhead view and you can see how that one moves. I'm going to do the same thing with this one. Click on U and I need to go to the left 9 and 15 sixteenths. And that works. So see what we look like. I'm going to zoom in and see how close we are. See that looks pretty good right there. So we got those aligned. Now we need to align these. If you look when I clicked on both of them it tells me that the back of this cabinet is 2 and 7 30 seconds from the front of that one. And that's not really helping me out a lot. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move this in wireframe and get it a little bit more closer some something that I can actually work with so if I click on U and U now it's saying 6 and 25 30 seconds in the back now I can use that right there I want to go into move increment and under objects I'm going to type in 6 and 25 30 seconds and I'm going to hit enter and then I'm going to deselect this one hold down my shift key hit my up arrow button and that aligned that perfectly even on the back. Now let's play with front, align front, align center, and align back. I'm going to grab me another base cabinet, but I'm going to change the depth. So I'm going to change size, and I'm going to change the depth to 18 inches. Now if you look right here, I've got a line to back selected, so it's going to snap to the back of that cabinet, or the back of any cabinet that it, that it touches. Okay, so now if I right click and I go to place mode here and I go to align the front it's going to snap to the front of any cabinet that it touches now if I go to align to center place mode align to center you'll see that it will snap to the center of these cabinets and any cabinet that it touches it aligns to the center aligns the center of that cabinet to the cabinet that is touching so I'm going to click on it and let it resize and you can see how that, that aligns so that, that option is real helpful. And let's do some upper cabinets here. So I'm going to pick me this upper cabinet. And I'm just going to put it in the corner here. So just like that. And I'm going to bring this one over to, I don't know, say right about there. And that put that at that mounting height that we specified in settings and prefaces at 83 inches. Now let's say I want another cabinet to go in between them, but I want it to go all the way to the ceiling. So I'm going to change the size on it to 42 inches. So the height will be 42. And I'm going to change the mounting height. Now here's where you can change the mounting height for individual cabinets as you're placing them. I'm going to change this to 95. That should get us what we're after. So when I put it in there, it's going to let's see let me go cancel here because I got align to center selected let me go align the back so I'm gonna click on that and it's gonna fit it for me and if I rotate around you can see that that cabinet is bumped up and it's flush on the bottom and that's how that works so I hope this video helped um, if I'm sure I could play around with this some more and uh, there's all kinds of things you could do with placing cabinets in here, but this covers the basics, I hope. If you have any questions, just post them in the comments section. 
And if this video helps you, give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can get all my latest tips and tricks. And as always, thank you for watching and have a good day.